The Minnesota Timberwolves are really starting to look dynamic. I know they didn't get off to the hottest start in the world here, but what we have to realize as NBA fans is it takes time, right? It takes time to really, you know, build that rapport, build that chemistry, especially when you're bringing in two brand new players that are really heavily involved in the rotation in Dante DiVincenzo and Julius Randle, who played a lot together in New York, but are now over here in Minnesota. Now, losing cap, it's tough, right? It is obviously uh, missing a big piece, but I believe what they got in return actually could help them down the line. And what I wanted to do in this video is start to break down some film from this last game, and I get it, there's no Bradley Beal, there's no Kevin Durant, but what I wanted to show you guys was this team is starting to build that chemistry. They're starting to build that rapport, and yeah, maybe they don't look amazing right now. But once they really get acclimated together as a group, this could be one of the best teams in the NBA. And one of my favorite things that they do is move in transition. So watch this play here. We're going to get Dante DiVincenzo on a little bit of a fast break situation, right? So as he drives into the lane, we're going to see a little bit of rotation, whether it's from the weak side uh, or the strong side right it doesn't really matter but you're gonna see some sort of rotation i think they fill the lane wicked well getting guys in the corners getting guys to the top of the key here as dante divincenzo drives in right so again first thing we're gonna notice drives in and now we're gonna get some blitz from the top of the key from tyus jones and then we're even gonna get a little bit of rotation from nurkic dante does a good job kicking out to julius randall who is able to just pull up a three from the corner and makes it look easy right julius randall is coming off a career day last night not a career day but a really good day 11 from 20 from the field 5 of 11 from 3 35 points this guy can go out and make his own shots create his own space and i think he adds a whole new layer to this minnesota timberwolves offense alongside a guy like anthony edwards who can also make things happen look at your splits the defense gets uh, Devin Booker to get up in the air with just an up fake with his head and then he gets an easy layup on the other side T-Wolves had a major comeback we're gonna break it all down we're gonna look at the film before we dive in comment down below do you think this T-Wolves team is good enough to compete for a championship this season yes or no hit the like button let's get right into today's video now another reason and honestly i can probably take my face off the screen here another reason i really like this new edition of julius Randle here is he really draws a lot of attention in that right or left uh you know elbow this is a place where they love to put him, right? Just start him off right here, especially if you have a mismatch and Devin Booker on him. Let's see him get to work. But not only can he score over this matchup every single day of the week, once again, you're going to see rotation, whether it be from the top side, whether it be from the strong side, you're going to see some sort of rotation because the Suns do not want this matchup. So here we go. Randall is going to drive into the lane. He's going to spin back to the middle. He's going to feel that rotation from the blitz side, right? The top of the key. And now he knows where his guy are that court mapping ability to know okay have Nas, Nas Reed in the corner have Dante kind of in this dunker spot area um, and then I have Anthony Edwards at the top of the key so what does he do he feels that pressure coming from the blitz side no look pass over to Anthony Edwards who then gets a wide open look from downtown beautiful job here by uh Julius Randle again he's gonna drive baseline he's gonna force a, a strong side defender in Royce O'Neal spin back to the middle get even more rotation now you have three four guys on you at once great pass there let's go i'm telling you julius randall is a good player once he gets acclimated once he builds the chemistry this team is going to be terrifying all right here's another really good play the game started to get really interesting right here because the t wolves were down by 11 going into the fourth quarter now watch this play we're gonna get a swing right over to uh, Nikhil Alexander Walker. Then we're going to get a little bit of rotation here by Dante DiVincenzo, who's then going to get the ball here. Let's get to that point. Boom, boom, couple of swings. Now, Nikhil Alexander Walker is going to come over here. He's going to fake like he's going to set a screen, but instead, he's just going to roll to the basket, which is going to cause a little bit of confusion between the on ball defender and Grayson Allen, who actually goes hedges over the screen prematurely and it really puts him in a tough spot right so here we go right fake screen now look at Grayson actually hedging over when there is no screen being set and now Tyson Jones looks over and is like okay wait what is going on why are we double teaming this is not what we're supposed to do so all Dante DiVincenzo needs to do here is look right 
fake like he's gonna get that pass into the lane and then pull up a three off the created separation that is a beautiful right here this is a great job by dante reading reacting and then boom attacking with an open three great job to create that separation and that that's that's basketball right there that's bad you manipulate the defense think someone else is open they overcommit to it and boom you give yourself an open shot let's go now that was a big play because it kind of initiated this run in the fourth quarter for them and they needed that right before we get any further into the video guys make sure you guys hit the like button if this video gets over 400 likes we'll be dropping non-stop minnesota timberwolves videos throughout the entirety of the season um so make sure you guys hit the like button but uh, more importantly subscribe to the channel if you're new it's free it doesn't cost anything to subscribe, and we will be covering the T-Wolves throughout the entirety of the season, offense, defense, individual player breakdown for almost every single game. As long as you guys want the videos, we'll continue to drop them. With that being said, let's dive right back into some more Minnesota Timberwolves film. All right, here's one of my favorite plays of the day. So it's basically the same thing that they did last play, right? But instead, we're going to use our big man, Rudy Gobert here so let's watch this in the entirety we're gonna get a fake little screen here at the top of the key for Nikhil Alexander Walker and what that's going to do is actually force their opposing big to over commit off the screen right and again what we're gonna see is just Rudy Gobert leaking into the paint so watch this play here this is this is great so fake screen boom we get over commit now a double team got to get this out quick finds rudy gobert now we have insane rotation we got the corner guy dropping down royce o'neal into the paint and then you got grayson allen uh kind of playing both dante divincenzo and nazri so what do we need to do in this specific scenario we need a backdoor cut right and we need dante to kind of just sit right in this area making grayson allen's life as a rotation defender pretty much just terrible right so Rudy Gobert drives into the lane. He's going to get in front of this defender here. And then he's going to make Royce O'Neal overcommit to the shot. And then Nas Reed, great up fake and one sound dumb. What a play from the, from the top to the bottom. This was beautiful, man. From the fake screen to getting it over to Rudy Gobert to the manipulation of the defense. I mean, Nas Reed, great backdoor cut and one with the elbow contact. Love it. Let's go, man. This team... This team, man, they're fun to watch. All right, here's another very similar type of play. We're going to get a fake high pick and roll here, or fake screen, I guess I should say, from Rudy Gobert. What this does is causes a little bit of, you know, guys to hedge over, right? Really trying to get Nas Reed uh, clamped up here off this high pick and roll. But instead of setting that screen, again, you're just going to leak to the basket, which causes weak side rotation here, or I guess strong side rotation by Josh Okoge. We're going to get Dante. We're leaking out to this three-point line, which is going to give us somewhat of an open three here. Great read by Nas Reed, right? But Dante gets this open three. Now we have inside leverage here at the bottom in the paint. Rudy Gobert on Royce O'Neal. Love that matchup every day of the week. So one, get an open three. And then two, if he misses the shot like he does, Rudy Gobert is there for the putback. I mean, what a great play. You really, you know, put them in a tough situation here with this fake high pick and roll. Boom. They both hedge over. I mean, guys, this is great basketball. I know he misses the shot, but that's a shot Dante wants every single day of the week. And Rudy Gobert being there with the mismatch down low. Oh, great execution. Now just down by one. All right, here's one of the biggest plays of the game away, but a minute 40 left to go down by three. This is going to be huge. So we're going to get Julius Randle leaking into the paint. We're going to get Mike Conley leaking around the arc to that three-point line here. Um, you could tell one thing, right? Everybody's just staring at the basketball here, right? So whenever you do this, people are going to get caught falling asleep. So again, right? And He's going to find the cut right here. Tyus Jones completely lost his guy. Mike Conley is already on his way to the other side of the floor. And because he's ball watching, he has no clue, right? So they kick into Julius Randle, who then Tyus Jones is like, oh man, well, my guy's wide open on the other side of the floor. He's going to kick it over there. Now we get top of the key rotation by Grayson Allen, right? Tyus Jones trying to get over there. Now he's getting double teamed. Now we have Alexander Walker, who you guys can't really see right now, but wide open here at the top, kicks it over. Now we get insane rotation, right? They're trying to close out. Both these guys trying to close out. So now if we just drive, we're going to have all the momentum in the world going into the lane. Now we got a 2-1-1, -on -one, right? We could either pass this, lob it up to Rudy Gobert, or does he have the confidence to boom, throws it down on Mason Plumley. 
Um, I don't even know if he got the foul, but man, what a play. Great rotation by the offense here. <laughs> this is unreal. That should have been and one. That should have been and one all day. That should have been a tie game after that free throw. McDaniels, great job. I think I might have called him in the kill Alexander Walker. That's on me. That is that is definitely McDaniels. Great play, great ball movement. And this is what makes the T-Wolves just so terrifying is that ball movement, right? They play unselfish style basketball. Here's another one right now. Down by one, a minute left to go in the ball game. Just straight isolation by Ant drives baseline. What do we see? Three guys around Ant. He doesn't care. Fade away, jump shot off the glass, gets it to go. Now they're up by one. Here comes a defensive possession here. Devin Booker drives in, draws some rotation, kicks it out to Grayson Allen, who is now wide open for three, gets it to go. Now we need a response from the offense. Let's see what we do here. Side out, tie game 117-117. Joe Ingles over to Julius Randle. We got two seconds left to go in the game. Randle, step back three. Money. And they win the game. Just like that. I mean, what a finish to this game. Julius Randle had 35 points. Anthony Edwards had 24 points. They played really good basketball, man. And, um, you know, again, I'll say it. I think this team has a lot of potential down the line to continue to get better. Let these guys get acclimated as a unit. And once they do, this is going to be a tough team to stop. So do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. Turn on post notifications. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next T-Wolves update. Peace.